In a landmark achievement, the Federal Capital Territory FCT administration, led by the FCT minister, Barrister Ezeem Wanyesonwike, has successfully resolved the long-standing impasse between the government and traders in Apo Mechanic Village, paving the way for the relocation of the auto spare parts village to Wasa. Now, Felix Obra, the coordinator of the Abuja Metropolitan Management Council, AMMC, announced the breakthrough during a press conference at the AMMC headquarters in Abuja. Correspondent Daniel Obi was there and filed in this report. Mr. Felix Obua loaded the development as a testament to the administration's commitment to conflict resolution and creating a conducive business environment. God be the glory. You can know that or uh, understand that this issue of our poor mechanics and spare parts have lingered for over 15 years. I just came on board and barely three months. But my special guest of God today have almost come to the end of this problem that have lingered for over 15 years. I have assured them and I have listened to all of them. And at the end of this meeting today, everybody is going back happily because all the associations have been collapsed to four. That is uh, over 50 something associations that have legal, have quarreled among themselves, have been able to bring everybody together today. And all the noise have died down today. And we have decided to relocate all the traders on the road corridor, the buffer, and right of way to Wasa, any moment from now. And they are all happy. By the special grace of God, we will do it to the satisfaction of everybody. The Home Minister has given approval. I will speak to you. The tax force in charge of that area have also set up. The technical team in charge of the relocation will also be set up any moment from now. The people are happy. All the students are happy. All the legal problems have been resolved today. To God be the glory. To be sincere, I am happy with myself and I'm happy with the achievement we have recorded today. Because of the Honorable Minister who have given approval for this operation to take start. The Apo Mechanic Village dispute, which has lingered for over 15 years, had become a significant concern for the government, traders and residents. The relocation to Wasa is expected to usher in a new era of growth and development for the traders, who will now operate in a more modern and organized setting. As a matter of fact, I can accommodate as many as a genuine traders of uh, mechanics and spare parts. The area we are locating them is a quite a big area. Like I told you, I am not giving this to individual or to friends or to civil servant. It's for pure traders and uh, spare parts and mechanics uh, traders. So those of them, if they are 100, we are going to see. That's why everybody has to include their name, their numbers, their address, and what they are doing. We are going to set up an enumeration team that will go and verify before we can give out all those uh, allocations. So it's no longer when one family will bring father, mother, son, and everything to get one other who don't have it. This time, the needful have to be done. The minister has given a matching order and we have to follow it judiciously without compromise. As a matter of fact, whether they are lawless or not, that is not my concern. My concern is that we must remove everybody from the road corridor, the buffer, and the right of way. Where we are sending them down is where they are going to remain permanent. It's not road corridor. It's a place that has been designated for such purpose. For mechanic timber, not only them, both timbers, furnitures, uh, gas cookers, and all whatnot. All these artisans that have been uh, playing in the cities, we're going to relocate all of them out and make city uh, Abuja what it's supposed to look like. The Wike administration's resolution of the dispute has been hailed as a master class in conflict resolution and a demonstration of its dedication to the welfare of all stakeholders in the FCT. The relocation is expected to inject new life into the local economy, attract investment and create employment opportunities. Daniel Obi, ASO Television News.